One of the most pristine settings in all of sports. In the shadows of the San Gabriels, the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. And it will come alive when the powder blue clad fans start the eight clap and UCLA, UCLA, ready to roll. We believe we've got a great one in store today. And we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 24 team in the country, the Texas A&M Aggies. Taking on a team from the Big Ten, the UCLA Bruins. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Takes it inside the 25, and he'll bring it back. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. Checking off. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Now on second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off, and really good vision there, just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive yards. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. To the air, it's Garbers. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in the perfect weather conditions with the gorgeous San Gabriel Mountains as a backdrop. And this guy right here, man, he's lighting defenses up this season, throwing it too. And in this game, he seems like he's dialed in. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Yeah, and you don't see very many quarterback hits on screens. You know, the offense wants to bluff real quick and make it look like pass, and then the quarterback's supposed to pop up, look like pass, and quickly get rid of it. You could tell timing all wrong. It was all jacked up, and that play went absolutely nowhere. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Harden. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. You can become a star making efficient plays and getting first down, sort of like a Mark Harmon kind of way to play quarterback for the Bruins. And, and then you become a big star. And in Hollywood, what a talent to do. It obviously creates some excitement, creates some momentum. Go to a rose. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. He's looking to throw, trying to get to it. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. You know, it's going to be so important for this offense to get better up front protecting and try to give this quarterback a pocket to throw from, because David right now in that last play, he had no chance. 
Yeah, and step one in, in stopping a good passing attack. Deep shot for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, UCLA. Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. About to kick it away after scoring a touchdown. And he'll bring it back. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He's on the loose. There he goes, open it up. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Aggie. He just took it the entire length of the field, end to end, coast to coast, nationwide for the touchdown. And how about the fans in the stands going, no, 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 take a knee, take, no, yes, 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 yes. Over 100 yards for the kickoff return. Nice job taking it at the end zone, making a huge play. The AT unit on the field. Bangs it through for an extra point. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it out. It's Jones. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. UCLA will go back to work on offense. 
That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Wants to throw. It's Garbers. Coming after it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Really nice pressure by the defense, getting in there quickly, getting a hit on the quarterback, making the quarterback make a quick decision, and he makes the wrong decision. He throws into double coverage, but that's really because of the pressure in his face and the physical hit on his body. Trying play action. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell the defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. It's complete. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. The Bruins will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Quickly out to the tight end. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends just so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They try to go draw, but there's just way too much penetration in the middle of the offensive line, and that the offense has a negative point. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. He's looking to throw right down the middle. Balls it in. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The gift to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. To the air, it's Garbers. Quickly to the tight end. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Quickly complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Third down, a lot of times, it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. From the red zone, looking for a space. Nice run there to keep things moving before they force him out of bounds. And I think this is important for this defense. This will be a big key in the football game. Like, I got to limit the damage from that guy. Because that, that's a QB that's dynamic, and, and he can make so many big plays. I got to string him out. I got to make him get to the sideline. But I will say this. I do want to hit him at the end of the runs. I don't want to let him out of bounds and let him get free carries. I want it to be physical. Fires into the end zone. And it's picked off. And stampeding through the defense. 
and they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Well, the defense does an awesome job here with their backs against the wall in their own red zone, coming away with an INT early. That could be a big game-changing type play in this game. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. From the gun, running back on the move. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. And the Bruins will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Owens. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Line gets set. First down. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Moves away as he feels pressure. Unloads to the wideout. And his sophomore quarterback just put it out there a little too far. Yeah, and, that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Looking down the left side. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw. Incomplete. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working, ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. They'll run play action. Starting to feel a little pressure. He'll try to do it himself. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get out. that point I think the decision was pretty easy hey I can go get this with my feet he was able to do that now they got a fresh set of downs wants to throw on first down those two not on the same page it's incomplete This has been a tight one, third quarter, all tied up. It's now second and ten. Wide out in motion. Back to pass, it's Wegman. Safe completion on the screen. At the 40, there he goes. They drag him down, but not before he's moved the chains and the screen pass is effective. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and Greenfield out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the wide out. And the pass is incomplete, but the flag flies, and there was a lot of early contact there. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. And maybe a wise move not to even try the pitch as he's knocked down in the backfield. Goes to the option. He'll toss it. 
And he caught that pitch in stride and was off to the races. A big gain and a first down for this offense. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that one play to pick up the first. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. He looks that one in nicely. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. It's hard to run a route or get lost near the sidelines and understand exactly where you're at. Nice job understanding I'm starting to get close to the sidelines, throttling down a little bit, catching the foot. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. And to sell out and bring a blitz like that on third and inches and then to have it pay off with a sack, oh, this defense makes a play. Got to love the aggressiveness. Got to love the onions. Just to, to bring the blitz, not worry about it. I don't care about the back end. I don't care about them throwing the football. And they end up throwing the football on third and short. Nice play, forcing the fourth down. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And that's a play the defense has got to be able to make, guys, right there on fourth down. You're in the third quarter, second half. You're playing at home, and it's a close game. You've got a huge opportunity to seize momentum. You just get the feeling that that momentum is going to be a big factor here in the second half. Someone had to step up and make a play, and they just couldn't get it done. Using the quick game. Touchdown, Texas A&M. They take the lead with the six. This is a running back who is versatile, and his catching ability really helps this offense out vertically down the field. And you saw it on that play on the wheel route. That wasn't just a screen or a swing. They got him making going to the flat, turning up the sideline for a touchdown. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Texas a 14, UCLA 7. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Use the play fake, now to throw. Fires to the middle. Makes a connection. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver, nice job securing the catch. They came out humming on this drive, and now it's first down from the 36. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And this defense has brought their A game. Done a great job stopping the run, stopping the pass, not giving up a lot of points. Even right there, everything's difficult. They string it out towards the sidelines. Everybody's flying to the football. This defense has looked spectacular today. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Scanning the field, it's Garbers. Pocket starts to collapse. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll lift to fight another play. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Makes the grab. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. The Bruins look to keep this drive humming. 
he wants to throw. Got it set up on the outside. Still running at the 40. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. Man, I love this guy's toughness. All game long, he's been getting hit. He's been sacked multiple times, and here we are late in the game. He's still staring down the barrel, gets nailed, but's able to deliver a big completion for his offense. Most important part of a clutch drive, piece together some first downs, get in position, and here they are on first and 10. Fires to the right. He makes a catch. Touchdown, Bruin! A great catch and run for six. Great job with the score. And listen, right here at this point in the game, there's still going to be time left. My defense is going to have to make a stand regardless. I'm going to kick the extra point because the field goal still beats me if I go for a two-point conversion. And a little pressure, no problem. The extra point ties the game here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Coming out with it, it's Owens. He's brought down for the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Off play action on first down. Finds the tight end. Really needed to play like that to get out of their own end. They moved the chains. They marked it at the 29. They knew they could slip that tight end behind the backers with that play action fake. Well, it's because I can't win, Reese. I, I have to play the run. You know, all these RPOs, all these different things. I, it makes me come up and use my eyes and play run. And these tight ends are so valuable to find space behind. Knew where he was going with the football the whole time because the big fella, he's always open. Give to the running back. Gives him a little shake and he's got some room. And he'll have to check his fillings after that lick, but he did get the first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. From the gun, running back gets to give. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. We've got a timeout on the field, and we are set up for a terrific finish. This is a third and long. Dropping back, it's Wegman. Unloads it left. A strike downfield. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fella. Texas A&M back to work with another first down. Looking to move it through the air. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. I think that receiver really had two choices there. Catch the ball or he was going to wear it in his chest. Yeah, he's going to be maybe taking a, an ice bath after too many of these curl routes and catches them in the body like that. This quarterback has a cannon arm. The receiver found the soft spot in the zone, and man, the quarterback gave him no choice. Now on first and 10 from the 29. He's going to pass. Gets it out quickly. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! And they've got the lead in the final minute. And how? 
how about this offense, man? They knew they needed to execute. Great play calling, great drive, put it together. Now you got a chance to go up by seven late in this ball game and then let your defense go on the field and seal it for you. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. Returner will field it and try to get some field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. To the air on first down. He wants a big play here late. Fires a ball and now it's picked off. Got room on the return. Running inside the 20. He'll go out of bounds at the four yard line and he almost had a pick six. Man, what a play. Now you're setting your offense up for great position, but you want to make big plays as a defense. Not only make big plays, return it a long way down the field. You wanted a touchdown, obviously, but you set your offense up in great scoring position. And as they come to the line, they have the lead, and they have the clock on their side, first and goal. And he takes it in on the final play of the game. You play through the echo of the whistle, and they did that with the ceiling touchdown. And some people might say they should have taken a knee, run the clock out. This offense believes, I'm going to run the football. It's your job to stop it. And they add a rushing touchdown and another six to the scoreboard. You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panicking ever really help? But certainly, this was a bitterly disappointing outcome. And you can look at a lot of different statistics, and I know we tend to overcomplicate college football these days, but guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to two very simple things. You can't turn the ball over, and you can't have penalties. You do those things, David, and it'll beat you every time. That's the difference between winning and losing. It's the small things, but find those things that you need to improve on, keep working on them, keep developing. Those things you do well, let's do those. Let's do more of those things more consistently. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.